In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Stripe settings in order to prevent as many failed payments on your subscriptions as possible. So the first thing to do is log into Stripe and then go down to your settings on the left hand side. From settings, click on subscriptions and emails. Now there's various settings here, but the ones we're going to look at are here today. If we scroll down, are these two sections here, the prevent failed payments section and the manage failed payments section. Um, first of all, with the prevent failed payments, the, um, the Stripe system gives you the option to send automatic emails to your customers when a couple of things happen. You can set them to send emails about upcoming renewals, so when your subscription is next due to take a payment, it will send an invoice, sorry, an email out um, seven days before if you have, uh, where well, you can set the event um, uh, setting here in terms of when it's when the emails are sent. Um, so you have one option to send emails about upcoming renewals and you have another one to send emails about expiring cards. These are both useful settings and if you switch them on then um, the system will send an email in these situations. So um, let's do this one first about sending e emails about expiring cards. Click on the I to have a look at it and what it will do is it will send an email just say a friendly reminder that you're about to charge your card um, before it expires, oh, and, and it expires at the end of the month. If you pop in here, the link need, definitely needs to be updated. Please remember to update this link, it's absolutely crucial. You should update it to this one, bookthatin.com forward slash subscription forward slash manage. That means the email will send your customer when they click to their account where they can see their subscriptions and they can update their card details you can click save on that. You can also click um, to switch on the upcoming renewals. Please note this will only work if you are using, um, well I should say it won't work if you're using a weekly subscription um, because it says the email will be sent out seven days before. Um, so that won't work but you'll need to update the link there again, click save and then save on the panel here to make sure you've saved those settings. So that will send out some emails to alert your customers um, and keep help them to keep their card up to date. But let's say they missed that and the payment failed. Now if we scroll down here, um, what Stripe has is some default settings about what it will do. So by default, Stripe will retry a card three times, um, three days, five days and seven days after. Uh, the previous attempt which is very handy it means you don't have to worry if you know it was an insufficient funds it will try again and and hopefully the payment will go through the next time however the bit you do need to be concerned about is this bit here where it says subscription status because by default stripe will if all retries for a payment fail it will cancel the subscription you don't want this to happen um, you want it to remain leave the subscription as is or mark it as unpaid. Either of those is fine. Um, if you leave it as is, it just means that your customer can update their card details at any point and the subscription will carry on. The reason you don't want Stripe to cancel it on your behalf is that Stripe doesn't tell you. You have to, uh, you have to check and find out if um, Stripe has cancelled a subscription on your behalf. And that's a little bit annoying. So you should, I, I recommend you leave the subscription as is and then you can go in and cancel it if you want, but you can cancel it from book that in. You don't have to do it from, from Stripe. So, um, so yeah, I would do that. Um, I wouldn't worry about the invoice status underneath because that leaves it as is anyway, but I would um, activate the customer email. So again, there's another automated email here, which will send out an email when a card payment fails. And that will ask people to update their card. And you can put in that link again that we had earlier and click save. And all that means is that after it's failed, when it retries automatically, it will hopefully, it gives the customer the chance to update their details and then Stripe can retry against the correct card and you've got a much higher chance of actually getting the payment, uh, payment going through so you don't have to worry. And then click save. And that is what I would recommend on your Stripe settings.